Hello, what's happening? Back here with Super Auto Pets. Going to have another go at the Unicorn Pack. Um, I think I've got a point to prove after the last one. I actually, uh, off camera, I went and uh, played another round. I actually got a win, uh, believe it or not. So I uh, learned a few different tricks. I mean, I think I had a build that focused primarily on leveling. And there's quite a few monsters now that or pets that um, take advantage of that. So, um, yeah, look, not going to look to emulate that directly, but seems like this pack just has a lot of different options in terms of, you know, you've got jump builds, you've got level builds, mana builds. So, yeah, plenty of options. Let's see here. The other moist hipsters, I guess. Oh, no, the grabby gazers. Got to go the alliteration. The unwritten rule. So, what have we got here? Well, these guys should cancel each other out. Nice. Not huge on the frog. Um, the witch toy I found is quite situational, but in the other game it could change the tide, so we might just grab one. Weak, experience, or mana. I'm going to just go weak, I think. I'll chuck him there. I might get the axe handle hound. Early days, there's still plenty of enemies with doubles. And if that is the case, then it's just a free hit. Point. Unfortunate. Okay. Do I bother upgrading the sneaky egg? H4. I just I just don't understand the appeal. However. Up to the front, game plus two and melon perk. Yeah, I might. The melon perk might be the difference there. We'll go for a level 3 sneaky egg. Not the best investment, but... Okay, that was pretty good. You'll work, won't you? So, thanks for your help, Froggy. Um, the weakness again, that always helps. Thunderbird. Don't think we need another axe handle hound. Uh, I'll hold on to this just in case we get like a, a mana synergy happening. What have we got here? Okay, that's a bit scary. Hmm. Okay, we can level up the Ogre Pogo. Uh, Griffin. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna get on that straight away. Get this treasure map into a treasure chest as quickly as possible. Um, I will grab this and find a better use for it, I think. If I do go for a level build, I don't want to get him to level 3 necessarily. What I might do is actually move him back in the rank. Spell him. I'm going to put this spell here. What he'll do is he'll get leveled up immediately, in theory. No, I think, yeah, that went after his ability, so maybe that's not the best way to go. Faint enemy, so that's... Pretty situational, really, isn't it?
technically... What is that? He's gonna level up pretty quick. Ooh, that could be good. No, what do I want? I want a... A mirror. Uh, these can pop off with the right mana build, so um, maybe that's something to keep an eye on. Yeah, so his ability goes before this one, which is disappointing. Okay, oops, the treasure chest there. Um... I knew what to make room, I just didn't know what for. Level up, give it plus two mana and one experience. That is potentially what we want. So we stick a gingerbread man on him. Render head faints. Vampire bat. Ah, I'm not dealing, I'm not dishing out ailments, am I? What does the uh, head crab do? Plus four, plus six. It's a good little sort of snipe hit, but here we go. What's happening? You're leveling up and then getting extra mana, extra experience, something. That's good. Um, Crisp or Chimera. Spend mana to summon one pet. Plus one attack and plus two health per mana. I need a gingerbread man for you, don't I? Put you there when I save you. There we go. Alright, so you level up, you'll level up. Hopefully you level up before you give the mana and then you can give him extra. When he levels up, he'll get a buff from this. So he's going to have a decent amount. And then his summon could be quite powerful. I mean, I sort of ruined the party, but hey. Got the job done. Alright, treasure chest. What have we got? Level 3 ghost kitten. Um, it doesn't <laughs> particularly fill me with excitement. But it's free, isn't it? I think 9 less damage from... Look. I will sell you. Maybe not right away. Oops. I didn't see what those level rewards were. So, if I do this, you're still going to get your level. I need a gingerbread map for you. What's this? Someone Nessie. Ah, that's a good one. Or a roll build. But not for us, so I don't need you anymore. Why don't I use the chocolate? Oh, goodness. <laughs> oh, I'm special. I'll just tra trade the cat for this bird right now. It's an extra three. And every little bit helps, I suppose, for this guy's spawn.
Yeah, yeah, the same idea. He's got some high level creatures working. Working their stuff, so. Okay. Interesting. Um. And for each roll. Maybe. Primarily, when I level him up, he does two pets, so if I was to do that, he'd need more room. I don't know how I'm going to wrangle that with these guys buffing the front. Well, he does anyway, doesn't he? Hmm. Really wanted that boy. Friend jumped, okay. Uh, I really wanted a gingerbread man. Do I roll or do I buff? What does the golden egg do again? It shoots off an attack before you actually attack, doesn't it? Let's have a look. That's scaring me. Yeah, same idea, but he was way more advanced. With his team. Another go. Friend levels up, gain plus one, plus two until the end of battle. I'll get you just for raw stats. Uh Maybe? I'll roll once at least. I'll get you. Okay, the extra packages. Nice. Oh, he's still got his spawn off. That's a bit rude. <laughs> yeah, that's very rude actually. Um, okay. I risk going the double. Yeah, I'll get him out there. They have one too, but I'll fire off two shots, so I think I'll still come out ahead. Nice. Now we're turn three. So, what does the dog do, the hound? 20 damage, that's ridiculous. Okay. Faint, spend mana, and jump, steal 2 damage. Uh, roll. Potentially good. While well, I'm dealing ailments. Um, you don't excite me. You can help. Maybe you should go first. Mm, yeah, I don't think you're a long-term solution, but... We're only really dealing one ailment, so... Quite situational. Okay, we'll take it. Not convincing, but we'll take it. Uh, do I... Um, do I... Work on a level build?
Hmm. Energy then. What does he do leveled up? Two last perkless enemies weak. And he'll level up and he'll damage both of them if I gingerbread this guy. Suppose we'll go with that for now. Doesn't fill me with a lot of confidence, but. Holy hell. That's a lot of stats for this early in the game, I feel. Uh, look, I will do that. Be a good sniper. Extra shop reward. What does that mean exactly? Is that like the extra... Extra pets of the next level? Theoretically, I could have, you know, three pets leveling up. Maybe I'll just see what that does. Still in the uh, learning phase here, really. Trying to get a head around all these new changes. That's nice. But not nice enough. Very RNG as well, I suppose. Depends on who gets the, the weak... Uh, but that's okay. I will sell dinner dog over here. Your bread. You can level up as well. So when a friend levels up, gain an extra shop reward. So I'm just keen to see what exactly that means. Everyone get your levels. Hold on, hold on, hold on. What was that perk? That's right. Another close one. Oh, okay. This is a shop. Only action, I believe. In that, if someone loves up on this screen, an extra shop reward will appear. That make, probably makes more sense, doesn't it? Uh, okay. For example. Yes, okay, that makes sense. Um, geez, that could be good every second turn. Look, I don't think you have a place, but I'm going to turn down some crispiness. I'm sort of stuck again in uh, a bit of no man's land. I'm not really excelling at any one aspect. I'm not taking advantage of my levels, I'm not generating mana. And this is the kind of pack where you really need to you know, pick a build and uh, stick to it and excel at it because, yeah, having a jack of all trades kind of team is not very conductive. Um, yeah, no, I don't think I'm going to bother with you. Roll six times, give the two highest tier friends plus one plus one. So if I had a roll build, I mean, that would be fantastic. <laughs> well, I'm rolling like I have a roll build. Getting absolutely nothing here. A few, I suppose. What's happening? What is this? So, Monty. Rabbit with a bat. Attack for two times more damage. Alright. 
through, but okay. Oh, another close one. I feel like I'm probably too late for the griffin to go off. Re attack and weak. You have five. Dragon, unicorn. Fix you. I haven't tried the bad dog. Ah, you click on him, it tells you what he can get. I didn't know that. But tell me. Ah, yes. Now I can see what the treasure map does. Level 3 break. Stock 1 free pet from tier 6 as a 12, 12, level 3. Oh, that makes sense. Okay, so you can give me Pandora's box or an evil book. Summon 1, 6, 6, old 1. Does 6 damage to all other pets. Okay. A bit chaotic. Uh, the reason I was looking is, do I just, you know, purchase the werewolf and transform him? But that seems... Uh... Not very productive. But yeah, I really want to try a roll build. Give the two frontmost friends and enemies plus two experience. That's just chaos, isn't it? Okay, you're leveling, you're leveling, you're leveling. Who's the most useless? You. You'll level. I really need to get him leveling as well. Jeez. So he's, the rock is really the upgrade of Thunderbird. Which, uh, you know, if you played Heroes 3, that just seems backwards, doesn't it? Um, give one random friend plus two mana three times, so you can spread it out or really focus it on the front. Jeez, that is an upgrade, isn't it? Drizzle fruit. Alright, if we survive this, we might be okay, but... I'm not confident we're going to survive. Oh, the uh, pre-games in these matches in this pack is just ridiculous. Yeah, no. Interesting. Alright, I might leave it there. I'm going to come back to this for sure. I just want to keep trying different builds, getting my head around what these different pets do. really want to try a jump build, and I would love to try a... Uh, what was the other one? The mana build and the roll build. Um, yeah, so I might try and uh, intersperse with some of the uh, turtle pack as well. I mean, that's what I'm used to. I mean, I've played this so much, I just... Uh, I've decided to do meme builds and things like that just to keep it interesting. But um, yeah, hundreds of hours just into this pack alone. So that's what I'm really used to. Um, so yeah, expect to see a few more from both of these. All right. Thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you next time.